Hey guys, I just got a package. I'm uh, still carrying and testing the Caribbean, by the way. But that need arose. And uh, after long consideration, I decided to uh, take one from uh, my list, from my to-do list. And shocking, it's another Spyderco. Uh, this is the Gail Bradley 2. You can see you can see it's still unopened and uh, I just opened the box looked at it and comparing this with uh, other spider codes this is the first one that actually came in a in a bag like this which is sealed uh, probably because it's M4 now I know when I bought my stretch MK390, it came with uh, little instructions. High carbon, high performance blade, it'll rust on you. <laughs> so yeah, also comes with this little desiccant pouch. And this is it. The Gail Bradley 2. Now you can see from the bag that it's uh, centered should you care about that personally me i don't care that much about centered blades i i uh, prefer to look at other things however this i would consider a higher end knife and um, i like to see that all the details fit and wow the action is smooth Opening and closing, closing even more so. Closing smoother because uh, this is uh, an action which I do with all uh, with all the knives. But opening, you don't have that much room for uh, for your thumb, and the spider hole is uh, is pretty small. I think it's uh, it's a bit smaller than for others. Looks to be a bit smaller than for others. I can't compare it with this one because. The stretch has a much bigger hole. Looks to be about this is I think 14. This would be this would be smaller. Now I didn't uh, I, I looked into this knife for a long time, but not recently. I just decided that uh, it was finally time. <laughs> um, I did watch a couple of videos recently um, for things I missed. But yeah, it's been on the to-do list. Not very high up. What changed? was uh, I actually did I think a, a couple of weeks ago I watched a video and I paid attention to something that um, I was just sharpening a knife this knife Let me just pull it out and somebody mentioned the fact that uh, Bradley doesn't have a cutout, which is too deep here, and a lot of people dislike that. And I just realized I never paid much attention to this. The Excalibur also doesn't really have a cutout. And this made the handle feel very, very comfortable. I consider the Excalibur a gentleman's knife. It just moves great. It, it is great. I've had this one for a long time, and I just... Uh, uh, put a bit more effort into sharpening it. So I guess that was the thing which uh, took me, uh, drove me over the edge, so to speak, and I decided to get the Gail Bradley too. Um, I remember why I've seen a video about the um, on Spyderco's channel, Meet the Maker, or something like that, and. Uh, Mr. Bradley said that he, he he built this as is without a very deep cutout so that if you cut and twist, it wouldn't unlock. I never had that problem. However, um, I like the fact that it's symmetrical. That's why I got it. But I have to say, the carbon fiber handle, uh, it's like the one on my Sage, which is also from the... Taichung Taiwan factory and um, 
is probably carbon fiber over G10. I'm gonna have to <laughs> see what the what Spyderco says and what other people say, but it's probably that. I have no issues with that. I prefer G10 micarta, but when carbon fiber handle scales are done well, then they're okay. One other concern I had uh, for a long time with the Gale Bradley 2 was the fact that the the scales are not flush with the liners, so you have the liners sticking out. Um, now, a friend of mine bought himself a Falcon Even, the model which has the tang protruding beyond the scales. And I actually worked with that and I found it to be, to not cause any problems actually, which just by looking at the knife, I would have said, that's nah, gonna cause some problems, but it didn't. So it was those two things. And of course, I've never had M4 before, and I said, it's time to give it a try. Now, reasons why I chose it is because I like the design, to be honest. Looks very much like a gentleman's knife. And um, it has a hollow ground blade. I really like hollow ground blades for their performance. I've heard that they are fairly thin behind the edge and with a hollow ground like this, they should be. And that's what I'm going to measure now. How thin is it behind the edge? Because I got some numbers at some point. Uh, what I heard most often was 0.4 millimeters. Uh, it's about 16 thousandths of an inch. And that would be okay for a production knife. This one is actually 0.5 millimeters. So the same thickness as uh, the stretch. I was hoping for a bit less, but uh, that's okay. I mean, hollow ground knives do tend to be the better slicers. And like I said, the curiosity with me stood in uh, also M4. I don't find it to be a chore to disengage this blade, even if uh, my thumb is not what it used to be. For my left hand, it's even easier. So honestly, I don't understand the gripe that some people have with uh, the fact that there is no cutout. Of course, it's not gonna be as fidget friendly because number one, the hole is kind of covered. And number two, it's harder to disengage this versus a normal liner lock. And yes, the detent is not very strong. Um, I have no issues with that either. But it is, it is very smooth. I would uh, say that this is one of the, one of the smoothest Spydercos that I've had without actually disassembling the knife and polishing the washers. Except for my Para 2, which is ridiculously smooth, was so from the beginning, but it's, it's, an, it's a very old version. Pocket clip. Um, <clears throat> I know some people said it was painted on, and then some people said uh, it, it's not really the, the classical paint, and it doesn't look like it. It looks more like uh, the one on my new newer Spyderco uh, Tenacious Lightweight. Looks a bit more durable. Hopefully it is. The way these wear off, it's uh, it's fine for a knife like this, an FRN handle knife, test knife, work knife. But this is a bit more, a bit prettier knife. A gentleman's knife, I would call it a gentleman's knife. And I just uh, switched some pocket clips on my other knives and I ran into a problem because the screws were sticking out of the handle scales and uh, in looking at this, they don't. It's flush. I like that. The details are, are nice. The details are very nice. Um, there's just a hair of a jimping here. I know a lot of people like jimping, personally. I'm not a fan of jimping. Um, but yeah, much I much prefer this over, over something like this. Even though the jimping on the, set, on the stretch is pretty good, this is less aggressive than this. And this is, this is actually really good this is less aggressive than this you're just gonna know where you are with your thumb which i like 
just holding it the knife uh, <clears throat> feels comfortable in hand uh, we'll be i'll be able to tell you more after i work with it but i'll start working with it after i'm done with uh with the caribbean which i'm not we didn't finish i have no issues with it yeah you can see machining inside with my sage one um an old model the liners were uh, polished very well with this one they aren't and once again maybe it's because of this knife the boker excalibur i have no issues i mean there's not such a strong tension here no lock stick and i like the way it sounds um not not the biggest fan of liner locks let me just put it this way i much prefer uh, a comp lock and for safety reasons the cold steel triad lock is amazing this one uh well i'll make a video on it not the smoothest knife ever this one's very smooth and uh, no side to side blade play i have two major issues with knives i don't care as much about blade centering as long as it doesn't uh, touch the liners i have no issues with it um some people do and i understand why in this case i care because this is a more expensive knife uh, but i cannot stand side to side blade play and asymmetrical uneven grinds now just from looking at it hollow ground blade i can't tell i mean with a with a full flat ground blade uh, you can tell pretty easily that this one was has an asymmetrical grind an uneven grind uh, it's been ground down more on this side in a steeper edge angle in a shallower edge angle on this one that's what gives you this uneven edge and i hate that that and side to side blade play this one does not have side to side blade play and it moves really nice which is a bonus uh, and seems to be symmetrical now let's get a thinner piece of paper see how well it cuts i've heard stories that some people just uh, strop this knife gently and then it could whittle hair. I'm not gonna look for that. What I'm gonna look for is whether it, uh, it does make a clean cut. Now I can see it has a, a micro bevel on it. I can see by the way the light's reflecting in it. Not sure if I'll be able to show you, probably not, but I can tell you it has a micro bevel on it. And right here at the heel of the blade, it goes up a bit. So that's not ideal. Honestly, it's not a big issue, but for this price range, for these price ranges, I expect perfection. As soon as I go over $50 mark, 50 euro mark, I expect perfection. And I think that's normal. It's a clean cut. Now this is uh, I would call this a good working edge, definitely a good working edge. Now let's look at the edge angle. Uh, you guys know how I do this. Approximately. Put the knife, start moving it and then see where it takes you. This seems to be a bit steeper than I would like. Now I know this one is about 14 degrees, a bit shy of 14 degrees. We can call it 15 if you want, but actually it's a bit shy of 14. So this one, uh, it's about 20. But it seems to be fairly even. Maybe it's a bit lower on the show side. I would say it's a bit lower on this side. But it is a it is a micro bevel. So yeah, I can't tell if the grind is symmetrical. That I can't tell because it's a hollow ground blade. I'll be able to tell you when I actually sharpen it. But that's gonna be 
after I'm done with this knife, I'm going to start using this knife. And I'm probably going to use the factory edge because uh, this is M4. People have been saying that they, sh they come with a great edge and I can't remember who said uh, they stropped it on a diamond strop and it just a few times and it whittled hair. We'll see about that. Right now it's, it's sharp. Can it shave? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what? It has a very aggressive edge. I mean, it's not a fine shaving edge, but it's a, a good shaving edge. You can feel how toothy it is, but it grabs the hair. And you know what? That statement that they stropped it on a strop that was loaded with diamond stropping compound. I believe that. Now I believe it. I don't know, but I believe that. Usually I don't. A lot of people say um, spider goes out of the box or shaving sharp, best edges and everything. But this truly is the best edge I've received, the best factory edge I have uh, uh, gotten from a new Spyderco. Without a doubt, very, very aggressive. Uh, I mean, it. you do have to touch the skin to take the hair off. It won't just take uh, thin hairs off like that, but you don't have to touch it a lot for it to grab the hair and slice it. Um, yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I like it. Um, doesn't really exceed my expectations. Few knives do, but uh, I, I don't feel underwhelmed by it at all. Just having it in hand, it feels uh, heavier. Uh, feels heavier than than I thought it would be. Personally, I like that. So uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I um, feels heavier than this one. I'm not sure about the exact weight of this one. This is 135 grams, whatever that is in ounces. 4.4, I think it's listed somewhere. 4.2, 4.4, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. feels heavy. I like that. I like a, a knife that feels heavy. And yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> um, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Unfortunately, I mean, I would love to start testing this, but if I start testing this, I will never uh, finish my, my Caribbean test. I've been carrying this knife for over one and a half months in my pocket all the time, all day, every day. It's with me or very close to me. Um, and I really want to do that. And if I start doing a cut test with this, I'll want to sharpen it right away. And then I want to do another cut test and start working with it. And <laughs> I like the Caribbean very much, too much to actually, uh, I mean, it has its flaws, but I like it too much to not put the time and effort into it. So yeah, this was just a first impressions video. Things that I, I could remember um, and things that I've noticed. So yeah, you know what? Out of the box, can't attest for the grind. Edge angle, I would say it's okay. About 20 degrees per side, the final edge angle, probably the micro bevel. Okay-ish, I would prefer something lower. Grind thickness, better than anything else. I was hoping for a bit lower than, this is 20 thousandths of an inch thick, 0.5 millimeters behind the edge. I was hoping for, for less, but it's better than most Spydecos. Sharpness, out of the box. Um, fantastic. Uh, really, the best factory edge I've ever, I've ever encountered. Um, no idea how M4 sharpens. A lot of people say it sharpens great. Um, that was one of the reasons why I got it. The action is just a pleasure. Now... No idea. I, it, just from 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 the get go, just grabbing the knife like this feels very solid. Feels very stable in my hand. I think we'll get along. Um, if the grind is symmetrical, 
then I'll be 100% satisfied. One thing that I would like to say, I I remember reading somewhere that this that this is not a regular painted pocket clip reading or watching a video. I don't know. This is not the regular painted pocket clip from Spyderco. This is a different finish. I don't like the pocket clip. I've seen videos. I don't like the pocket clip. I don't like the way it looks. And uh, oh, looking at it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's one pocket clip which is uh, kind of messed up. Hopefully you can see it. This is uh, not okay. <laughs> Looking at the pocket clip. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, this screw here has a head which is broken. I'm trying to capture this in uh, a good lighting and f get the camera to focus. Maybe I can even do it, who knows. Well, this is a task in itself. I'm sure you can see it. That, I've never seen that before. I have never ever seen that before with uh, any of my spider goes. A little bit sweaty now. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, that's not going to be the biggest of issues, but yeah, quality control check. Um, if it has a symmetrical grind, I'll be uh, fully, fully satisfied with this knife. I wish they would have put a better pot clip on it. And seeing this, I wish that the screw. Uh, would have not been all messed up. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment sections. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching once again. And as always, I wish you all a great day.